So many people affected, we all know. We've been talking about this story time and time again, yeah. night after night. So tonight we look at when Isaiah Carter was killed. The first picture we saw was him proudly wearing his junior ROTC uniform. It's a popular program at Patterson High School, mentored by a man who finds himself with marching orders he didn't see coming. Lieutenant Colonel William York's marching orders changed significantly after the funeral for Cadet Isaiah Carter. And perhaps no one is more uniquely qualified for the new mission than this Air Force veteran. I had five kids, right, and I've I lost one already. So uh, I know the impact on the rest of you know, the children and how, what kind of toll it can take. It has been almost five years since his 20-year-old son Joshua took his own life, making the colonel painfully aware of how the sudden loss of a young person impacts family. And I've watched my younger children struggle. Yeah, so I worry about it. These are all my kids. Yeah. Yeah. They're good kids. They are. Aim, aim the point. Aim the point. Uh -huh. Nice shot. Colonel York's aim is to keep a very close eye on his junior ROTC cadets at Patterson High School, of which Isaiah was a new member. It's more helpful uh, mentally to um, find something positive to put the negative energy into. Do you know what you did differently here? Uh, than to dwell in the negative because, uh, you know, it's, it's easy to get stuck there. The cadets recalled not only the day that Isaiah was shot and killed at a nearby park after school, but how their own mothers worried about them too, and still do. What was that like seeing your mom after this happened and what did she say to you? Uh, first she was relieved because it wasn't me. She could see me another day. I'm a little more careful and cautious, um, not in school, but around, around the school and some public places just because, you know, like what happened, you never know. Present, arms. In the junior military program, much of the focus is on leadership skills and personal growth. But the colonel has flagged mental health as something he needs to watch for too. What it's about is getting, getting the person who, the timing right of getting the person who needs the resource to the resource so that it doesn't escalate, right? So. How do you think they're doing? Excuse me. I was worried. Yeah. Um, excuse me. But uh, you know now, they're you know they're talking. Taking care of each other at Patterson High School, where both cadet and colonel find deeper meaning in the Air Force credo of integrity, honesty, and service before self. We want to thank Colonel York and the cadets for speaking with us, and we wish them the best as they finish the school year at Patterson. Tomorrow night, we reconnect with two people I've interviewed before about gun violence, a grieving mother, and a paralyzed gunshot victim. We talk about how this very difficult year for youth violence has taken a toll on them, too.